Good afternoon. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. I hope you are all doing well today, July 22nd, 2021. And after that wonderful, amazing, mic dropping live stream we did last night with the uh, Sword of God channel, I did not know if I would need to be sharing any more information. But as I got on here and uh, started looking at some things that I was seeing and then some things that were sent to me. I just want to put this all together for you guys. There's more information. We need to continue uh, revealing and uh, sharing with you guys until the, the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because these are mysteries that are being revealed and the Bible says that the seventh trumpet the uh, final mystery will be revealed. Okay, so we need to keep revealing the mysteries until the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember, a few uh, weeks ago, or about a week ago, or a few days ago now, I guess, uh, we were talking about the writing on the wall. And I shared a number of pieces of information with you about uh, the the age of Barack Obama and how that connected us with Daniel chapter 5. Then we had uh, the writing on the wall on the uh, on the actual wall of the temple and God's name was written in the vines. And then on that same exact day as we were talking about that and, and sharing our information about the writing on the wall, then Iron Maiden comes out with this uh, video, their first song in six years it's called the writing on the wall okay pretty amazing stuff as we were watching all of this so i'm going to be uh, sharing some more information with you about the writing on the wall but i want you to see it from this perspective okay this is the perspective that i want you to see it from the beginning reveals the end okay the beginning reveals the end. In 2008, Barack Obama made his first international campaign speech in none other than the seat of Satan in Berlin, Germany. The, uh, the date of this speech was July 24th, 2008. Barack Obama at the seat of Satan, Berlin, Germany, on July 24th, 2008. Take a look at the time, okay? Take a look at the time on this article. 2116. 2116. Take a look at 2116 in the Greek concordance. To make straight. I make straight. I guide, steer, make straight, do immediately without deviation or unnecessary delay used in John 123 of John the Baptist in the mil in the wilderness make straight the way July 24th make straight the way from 2008 to 2021 13 years to the day 13 years to the day the beginning reveals the end 13 is the number of destruction The meaning of the number 13 in the Bible is symbolic of rebellion and lawlessness. 
Nimrod, the mighty hunter who was before the Lord, meaning he tried to take the place of God, was the 13th in Ham's line. 13 represents all the governments created by men and inspired by Satan in outright rebellion against the eternal. The beginning reveals the end. Obama at the seat of Satan, July 24th, 2008. Make straight the way. The number of destruction and the number of rebellion and lawlessness. 13 years to the day. Now talk about the writing being on the wall. Look at the birth certificate of Barack Obama. August 4th, 1961. Look at the time of his birth. 7, 24 p.m. 7, 24 p.m. Now let's take a look at the life of Barack Obama from August 4th, 1961 to July 24th, 2021. This results in 21,905 days. 21,905 days. Okay. Let's take a look at this in the verse number. Verse number from the beginning of the Bible, verse number 21,905, which means one verse per day of the life of Barack Obama. And it brings us to the night when the writing was on the wall and the exact verse, Daniel 5.30, it says, In that night... Belshazzar, the king of the Chaldeans, was slain. Remember, Belshazzar, in the video and the song by Iron Maiden, they came out and said the writing is on the wall and it was the feast of Belshazzar. They are pointing this week, they, this week, this video came out and they are pointing to Daniel chapter 5 and the feast of Belshazzar. Well, the life of Barack Obama brings us to exactly the night that Belshazzar was slain. Daniel 5.30 based on the number of days in the life of Barack Obama. Now, if you guys think that this is some type of a freak accident, you got another thing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you guys think that this is some type of a freak accident, okay, look at the gematria of this verse. On the right-hand side of the screen, Hebrew gematria 1288, okay? Now, I'm just saying. Everybody, make sure they're sitting down because you're going to fall off your chair, okay? <laughs> Look at this. The verse, this verse that points from the birth of Barack Obama based on number of days brings us to Daniel 5.30, the very night Belshazzar was slain and the gematria of this verse is 1288. Okay, now do you guys think this is an accident? Hold your horses. We're going to drop the mic here. Look at the gem Gematria 1288. Now look at 1288 in the Strongs and tell me this is some type of a freak accident. <laughs> Lord Jesus, Hebrew 1288, Barak.
Now you know why I cannot stop. I cannot stop. I am going to be sharing with you until the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because these revelations just keep coming and coming and coming. Look at the Hebrew 1288, which is the gematry of this verse based on the number of days of the life of Barack Obama. The writing is on the wall. The night Belshazzar was slain, Gematria 1288, which in the Hebrew is Barak, and in the Greek it is to draw apart or to pluck. <laughs> to pluck. Come on, guys. We're talking about Tubiav. We're talking about July 24th. We're talking about the full moon. We're talking about the Lord gathering his people. We're talking about the plucking to draw apart. Okay. Now, I just showed you, I just showed you how the Strong's Concordance connects us by so many different ways to the exact, okay, to the exact understanding of what we need to know, okay? And this is based on... God preparing it uh, ahead of time, and it's also based on divine revelation that we are receiving. We are putting these studies together. Now, this was sent to me by Brother uh, Chris. And this also is going to have a, an amazing connection to Tubiav on July 24th. Look at the number of Satan in the Bible, 4567, Okay. Satan is number 4567, the adversary, Satan, the devil. And this is why I believe, Chris said this, and I believe it too, this is why I believe Obama announced his pres presidential candidacy, candidacy when he did. August 4th, 1961, to the day that Barack Obama announced his presidency that he announced that he would be running for president which was February 10th 2007 the number of Satan 45 years six months and seven days the number of Satan 45 years six months and seven days four five six seven okay now there's more okay so we have the number of Satan from the birth of Barack Obama to the day he announced his presidency. Now look at the time since his inauguration. Wednesday, January 21st, 2009 to Friday, July 23rd, 2021, which on that night, Tubiav begins on the Hebrew calendar. The night of Friday, July 23rd, 4567 days. The number of Satan. Okay. Okay. There's more. There's more, folks. Let's keep going. We're going to talk to you about the Revelation 12 sign and the Christ angle alignment, which took place three days before the Revelation 12 sign, September 20th, 2017. Okay. Did you know that on September 20th, 2017, three days before the Revelation 12 sign, the day of the Christ angle alignment, on September 20th, 2017, Barack Obama spoke on this day, at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Goalkeepers Conference in New York, September 20th, 2017. See, this was streamed live on September 20th, 2017. Okay. This was three days before the Revelation 12 sign.
Okay. Now, look at this. Revelation 13.4 And they worshipped the dragon who had given authority to the beast. And they worshipped the beast saying, Who is like the beast? And who is able to make war against it? Okay. They worshipped the dragon. Okay. Take a look at the number of dragon. Okay. Dragon. 1404. They worshipped the dragon. Okay. 1404. Now take a look at the Christ angle alignment and a sign on earth and a sign in heaven of the coming dragon, Barack Obama at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Goalkeepers Conference, September 20th, 2017. The number of the dragon, 1404, and we go from September 20th, 2017, 1404 dragon days, and it brings us exactly to July 24th, 2021. Okay. And there is a great connection between the Revelation 12 sign. This graph I got off of five doves. I cannot explain this in, in detail. This is not my work. And so I do not fully understand all of this. I will leave the link for you to the article that I got this from on the five doves website. But there's a great connection between the Christ angle alignment and the Revelation 12 sign. And the reason they were connected by the three days and there in within this there is a 144 numerical factor and we know about the 144,000 witnesses well I had never uh, thought about this but when you take the number of days given to us from the Revelation 12 sign 1260 days and you add 144 days what do you get 1260 plus 144 is 1404 okay so you add the 1260 and the and the 144 and it gives you the number of the dragon well anyway there's a connection between the revelation 12 sign and the christ angle alignment and you know that the Revelation 12 sign is the sign of what? Okay. There's two signs in Revelation chapter 12. It's the sign of the woman giving birth to the man child. It's the sign of the man child. Okay. And then we have the sign of the dragon. The sign of the dragon. Okay. The dragon is 1404. And what is man? Is fourteen hundred. The man child, fourteen hundred. We have the number of man, fourteen hundred. And the sign of the dragon is fourteen o four. And there is this connection between September 20th and the Christ angle alignment and the sign of the dragon and the number of dragon days and the Revelation 12 sign which is the sign of the man child 1400 days so these are more reasons why we continue to watch and will be watching until our Lord and Savior comes for us quite possibly between July 24th July 25th, July 26th, or July 27th. We continue to watch and wait patiently for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we continue to share the signs 
diligently with you until he comes. No, I mean it. I'm not being facetious. Democrats and Republicans. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. The fact is, you can't look at that television and say, nothing happened on the 6th. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated. I don't care if you think I'm Satan reincarnated.